You absolute toss pot with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. What an absolute freak filming out in public. And yeah, those are the thoughts I get sometimes when I'm out here. But uh, yeah, I'm at a skate park. And why am I at a skate park? Well, I skate when I was younger. And since I've moved to this new area, I uh, just thought I'd give it a go. I also want to apologize because I haven't really done much in a while uh, online because I've just been so busy moving place. But this is my new neighborhood. So we'll be revealing a bit more of that as the uh, show goes on. Note that this is a great chance to get some good foley, actually. Like... Couple that with some real life breathing while I'm skating. Absolute freak. What's kind of crazy about the uh, creator combo is it's seriously pretty damn good audio given I've just got this radio mic and as you can see there's literally construction like everywhere. I just want to say the DJI on a skateboard is pretty cool for tracking shots, not gonna lie. Uh, it's pretty, yeah, it's nice and stable and really easy to use just for skating around. But yeah, I probably need a mount for this for the bike coming up. You see this net here, 50-50 on the table tennis table. And on the other side of the net, there's another side. Balance. One side of the table, the opponent on the other side. One thing I realized uh, since I've been moving is I haven't had as much balance in my life. 50-50, I guess you could call it. What's 50-50 in skateboarding? Well, it's when you get on a ledge or a, you know a pole and grind and you land with the two trucks symmetrical with the railing or object that you're trying to grind 50-50. I was thinking of that metaphor just then since it's something I haven't really been able to do in a long time because I don't really skate anymore. So one goal I would like to set is just to be able to do a 50-50, hopefully by the end of the week. So we'll see how that goes. And while I was never particularly a good skater, I could at least like do basic tricks and stuff. But uh, yeah, when you're in your 30s, things do catch up to you. All right, let's get an ollie going because even then that's something that uh, I'm probably going to struggle with on the very first session, so I can't really <laughs> do any more. So even an ollie would be nice to be able to do. So maybe I'll just start with that. Uh, <laughs> be pretty proud if I can do a consistent ollie by the end of the session. <laughs> Me and my shadow again. Uh, but yeah, I reckon if I do this every single day. Uh, I mean, <laughs> to be honest, we're only going about, you know, one inch off the ground right now. I reckon a little bit more time and the muscles will get stronger, the back pain would alleviate and soon I'll be able to, yeah, get a bit more pop than one inch. What's really interesting is uh, how in your mind you think it will be better uh, if you haven't done something in a long time and how quickly you realize that you're rusty. Um, but that's kind of like my filmmaking, isn't it? I mean, I took a bit of time off vlogging and filmmaking. Here I am on this vlog getting existential about it. But maybe the reality of it is uh, that it's just a case of not doing it as much as I should be. Where's the face? That's the face. Got it. Let's track my face. Close it down there. Good. All right. Let's get those there. Let's see what happens. I've shot films on big cameras and smaller cameras, everything in between, and I genuinely think that you can make a good indie short or feature on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 just because of just the way that it's set up for this kind of quick filmmaking. I think that it's just good the same way I'm now trying to do an ollie, thinking that I can do it better than I actually can. A lot of the time filmmakers think they can do it from the get-go and they realize how hard it is because filmmaking inherently is so hard. Um, 
I thought I would be able to come back out here and pop an ollie no problem. Said I pop, pop my back out, <laughs> you know, like, so, yeah, I don't know. I think it's, it's quite wonderful that you can take a device like this and create beautiful things, you know? And I know there's going to be like people out there that say, oh, it's not a real film unless it's done on this, like, you know, <laughs> 8K or whatever, you know, but yeah, whatever, that's them, that's their ideology. My, the cinema that I love, the cinema that I watched was gritty and raw and a lot of it was shot on consumer gear and equipment. My favorite movement is the dogma movement of cinema. But yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to say is if you get out there and practice with this and you set up creative angles, it gives you a really clear idea of what works and your intuition will get better the same way my muscles will get better and eventually I'll be able to pop that ollie that's bigger than one inch. Um, hopefully by, <laughs> by the end of it you either make another film on this or you make uh, a film with a, a big crew and oh it's lost the subject. Okay. Limitations. There you go. Subject lost. You just stopped following me after three minutes. Okay there you go. What has limitations? Like anything in life. But yeah, back to what I was saying is, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a good way to practice filmmaking too, like, and a challenge for a filmmaker like me, who's made films on all types of cameras and with, in all situations and with financing and funding and then no budget and no crew and all that. Like I've done all types of filmmaking and this is really fun. I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. So yeah, there's lots of ways to make a film. And this for me is now a challenge, something I want to do because I was losing that, you know, in my mid 30s, I was losing that passion for being an artist, a, a passion for being a filmmaker because of just how clinical it all got. And art is fun, meant to be fun. You're meant to throw paint at the wall and enjoy it. Well, that's how I view art anyway. You're supposed to throw paint at the wall and just, you know, make shit happen. Like, you know, like I look around, like that's life, you know, that's life. I just realized I've got to head home. My jacket actually froze last night. I left it out on the balcony uh, and it was a little too wet for the cold, unfortunately. All right, let's head home. Very different vibe to the other environment I was in with my other vlogging. So yeah, we're heading there now. And to be honest, one of the reasons I moved from where I was staying previously, if you've seen the footage from the first 30 or so episodes of my vlog, it, it was living in a very sterile, clean, nice environment, but I didn't feel there was a creative spark there. I didn't say this in some of my other vlogs, but I used to get greased off. Just people just greasing me off when I'm just walking around my neighborhood in my, you know, with my style or whatever, or my personality. But here I get people wave to me and say hi and ask how my day's going. Literally just moved in last week. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, there's another little thing just Yeah, yeah, the, the red one. So you've got the large version of the train station and then the mini version of it and it has books inside. As you can see, the detail is a replica. You can leave a book. So yeah, that's really cool. That's really cool, see? taking a stroll around my new neighborhood to show the vibe and to be honest yeah I probably will be vlogging a lot on this uh, bike path and in this area just because I like the color palette I mean if you've seen any of my vlogging <laughs> or films uh, yeah yeah documentaries you'll realize I really like bright color palettes and color so yeah everything here has a lot of life and you can feel the creativity I mean, there's literally rays of sunlight coming through and hitting. It's just pretty amazing, actually. Yeah.
So yeah, this is the new place. Uh, I haven't been doing as much vlogging because I've been moving in and only very recently we even had a dining table set up. I haven't even got the posters up on the wall yet. But yeah, different vibe happening here. And I've got my little movie corner. Adaptation's an absolutely amazing film. If you haven't seen it, Nicolas Cage is so good in it. We picked up this poster, uh, yeah, recently, and it's the rug in and the coffee table. So yeah, it was looking pretty bad up until very recently. And uh, yeah, Farmas Nom for my composer for the film melodrama around in Melbourne, which is the Filipino Academy Award, which got nominated for a few years ago, early in my career. Lost Toy Collection, The Hatch from Season 1, and uh, of course Jack. And uh, another Jack here, Jack and Rose from Titanic, one of the greatest films of all time. Some great uh, filmmakers, here we go, Wes Anderson, Peter Greenaway, Michael Haneke, Shinji Iwa, Spike Lee, new director's chair here. Hopefully soon this will be more ready to go, but I'll be doing a lot more vlogging here. You get better at things because you are constantly doing them. And even me, after two weeks, rusty, it's like I haven't stretched before doing something. I can really feel the weight of it. I'm using this here, this camera, as a bit of a metaphor for anything in life. I stopped for two weeks because I was moving in and vlogging this morning didn't come as natural to me as it normally would. Like when I was in my routine doing it, um, back in my old address, I was doing it every day and I was quite able to, you know, easily pick the camera up. It took a little bit of time to just get back into the vibe today. So yeah, um, that's just how it goes. The St Kilda Film Festival was on, I was also working uh, and also on top of that moving. I do think it's a good thing to stay consistent. I kind of wish I vlogged a little bit more in that time, so it was a bit too much of a load, but if you do find yourself with a little bit more free time, I think it's really good to stay consistent. Um, but yeah, of course, take care of yourself, take breaks, all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, different vibes for the vlog. Hope you like the new place and yeah. Yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs>